So here we are in the WordPress content editor. And as I mentioned, this editor has a lot in common with any other text editor, but the primary distinction is that WordPress content is based around blocks. Blocks are individual chunks of content that have various properties and attributes associated with them. So I think the best way to demonstrate this is just to start creating something. So I'm gonna enter a title for this blog post. And as you click down into the main content area, you can enter some text here. And you'll notice this area behaves very much like any other editor. So you've got a paragraph, you can add some text formatting, you can add a link, there are various other formatting options here. And then when you press enter or return, you're gonna drop down into another paragraph exactly as you would expect. But these paragraphs are actually blocks. So paragraph just happens to be the type of block that this is. If you want to add a different type of block, you can click the plus icon over here and make a selection from the list. So you see we have paragraph, we have heading, image, gallery, list, and quote. And these are just a few options. These are sort of the most frequently used options. But paragraph is the default because that's what you're gonna use the most as you're entering text. But let's say we wanna add a heading. So what you'll notice initially is that the sidebar over here changed to give you some different options that are applicable to this specific type of block. So you can change the color options, the typography, and then right here you can choose which type of heading you want this to be. So heading one all the way down to heading six. So we're gonna stick with heading two and just enter an example heading here, very original. Press enter, and again, it's gonna create another paragraph block. To make this a little more interesting, I'm gonna add some dummy text here, just so we have a larger volume of text. And then below that, we're gonna add another type of block. So let's say we wanna add an image. So this is an image block. We can choose to upload an image, insert it from the media library, or insert from a URL. So I've already uploaded a couple of images to this site, so I'm gonna choose Media Library. And we'll insert this one. So this is our image. Uh, we're gonna go with the large size for now. And then once again, you've got a paragraph block below that image ready to go. Now, once again, these options are just some of the most commonly used blocks, but you can click Browse All to open this sidebar and see quite an extensive list of options that you have available. So if you hover your mouse over them, it gives you a little preview to show you what each block is gonna look like. So we've got a quote, list, which is basically your simple bullet list or numbered list. You can insert code, you can add a table. Of course, we've got image, image gallery, you can add audio downloadable files, video. You can do a cover where you have a text overlay over top of an image or video. And then down here, you've got various design elements that you can use to organize and structure your content. And you can see the list just goes on and on. There are a lot of different options for blocks and it allows you to create unique content that's visually compelling without having to write any code or do any difficult formatting. So we'll add a list here. And you can see this behaves very predictably. As you press enter, you're gonna get another list item. Press it again, you'll jump down into another paragraph block. And again, as you're editing each of these blocks, you will notice that the sidebar changes to give you options that are specific to that type of block. So when we click on the image block, we can change the image size. We can uh, style it a little bit differently. We can change the specific dimensions here. We can add a border. 
all of these options that are specific to this type of content. Another interesting thing that I wanna mention when you go to browse all and you open up this block sidebar, you can choose a pattern, which is sort of a pre-configured collection of blocks that allows you to create something really beautiful without having to configure all the individual blocks from scratch. So you can see we've got like layered images here. We have a wide image with introduction and buttons, a large list of names, video with header and details, list of events. And these are all pre-formatted with colors and everything that match your theme. So you can just insert these very easily and then customize them for your individual needs. So let me insert one of these. Let's do the pricing table. So you can see with one click, I've created this beautiful pricing table that I did not have to configure at all. But if you look a little closer, you're gonna notice that these are individual blocks. I could have created this individually, but it just makes it so much easier to take a pre-existing pattern and customize it. So this is a collection of columns, which is a block in itself. And then within that, we have more blocks. We have one column here, the heading at the top, a paragraph block, a separator, which is this line here. We have a list, and then we have a button. And then we just duplicate that across three separate columns. And it looks really beautiful, and it's something you created in a couple of clicks without having to do any coding or uh, difficult formatting. It's so easy. By the way, this menu that I'm looking at over here, you can bring this up with this icon to sort of navigate through the blocks in your post. So not the most interesting content, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can do with this editor. So I would encourage you to go ahead and open up a new post and just start creating some stuff, whether it's something you're actually gonna use on your website or just some random filler content to get accustomed to using this editor.